Thank you both. And IT is uh, is ready to go. So when the group is ready, we are we can go live. Okay, then uh, um, I will call uh, the regular meeting of the Port Wainimi Water Agency uh, Board uh, to order here at two fifth. Uh, excuse me, at 4.05 p.m. on uh, February 16th, 2021. And if we could have a roll call, please. Member Dudley? Present. Member Hernandez? Hi. Member Hernandez, can you hear us? I know she's present. So, uh, Member Perez? Here. Ex officio member Jacobson? Here. Vice Chair Rollins? Here. And Chair Bouchard? Here. All present. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, the next item on our agenda uh, will be public comment. And um, are there any public comments that we need to know of? No, sir. There were none submitted for any agenda item tonight. Okay, thank you. Um, if uh, so, the next item uh, on the agenda is the uh, agenda approval for the water agency for the evening. Are there uh, any adjustments, modifications uh, to move forward with the agenda approval? We'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Uh, not seeing a roll call. Can we just get uh, our, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? No nays. Motion carries 5-0. Uh, Okay, uh, the next item is the Port Wainimi Water Agency reorganization and uh, for the nominations for Port Wainimi Water Agency chair. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to have served in the role as the chair and uh, your guys' confidence and everybody's professionalism for the last year. Um, and it, it's always a joy to work with this agency and the good things that we do. Um, by way of introduction, I, or I guess I would just like to uh, welcome uh, Councilwoman uh, Perez. Uh, we've never met in person, but uh, welcome aboard and congratulations on your election to the Port Wainimi Council and um, your appointment here to the PHWA board and look forward to working with you. Thank you. Likewise. Um, so uh, it's long been the practice. I'm not sure if it's codified anywhere, but that uh, it, it alternates uh, chair between the Channel Islands Beach Community Service District and uh, the uh, appointed member of the Port Wai uh, or an appointed member of the city of uh, Port Wainimi on alternating years. And so since uh, I had the distinct pleasure of serving as the chair for uh, calendar year 2020, it would be appropriate that we receive nominations uh, for a uh, the chair position from one of the three members of the Port Wainimi City Council that have been appointed. And I'll open nominations now. Director uh, Hernandez. Hi, good afternoon, um, Director Bouchard. I wanted to just say thank you for your leadership and your uh, bringing to the, the table your experience and your knowledge. Uh, some of us, uh, over the last two years, we started new and um, I'm still catching up with um, the intricacies and all the mechanics of working um, with a water agency. Um, so with that said, I just wanted to acknowledge your service and say thank you. Um, and with that, I'd like to nominate uh, Director uh, Richard Rollins uh, for our chair. Okay, we have a nomination for Director Rollins. Is there a second for that nomination? I'll second. Okay, uh, Director Perez has uh, seconded the motion. Um, uh, uh, Christy, would it be uh, appropriate for us to vote on that nomination now or should we, or do we ask for other nominations? We can go ahead and vote on that nomination since it has a second. Okay. I'll do a roll call. Um, so, yes, would you do a roll call, please? 
Sir. Member Hernandez? Yes. Member Perez? Yes. Member Dudley? Yes. Vice Chair Rollins? Yes. And Chair yep. Bouchard? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, the transfer of chairmanship will now be with uh, Chair Rollins. Okay. Um, I want to uh, thank you all for the uh, vote of confidence. And um, again, as um, Councilman, uh, member and Councilman uh, Ms. Hernandez had said, um, we both started at the same time a few years ago, and it's a learning process. Um, I'm amazed at all the intricacies of how we get clean water to all the uh, residents of uh, Port Wyneme and the surrounding areas. And so um, it's been a valuable education to me and we shall move on. Um, so at, at that point, um, I um, um, will open up the nominations for uh, vice chair at this point. Yes, uh, uh, um, M member Bouchard. Uh, I would uh, nominate uh, uh, Director Debley to serve as the vice chair for the PHWA uh, board. I will second that, or do we have a second? Then I will second that. <laughs> uh, so uh, do we need a uh, roll call vote at this time? Um, uh, Yes, sir. Uh, okay. So. Member Bouchard? Yes. Chair Rollins? Yes. Member Dudley? Yes. Member Perez? Yes. Member Hernandez? Yes. And motion passes. Congratulations. And Member Dudley is now vice chair. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jared. I appreciate the nomination. Uh, I think there's going to be a steep learning curve in the next few months, but I look forward to the opportunity. Uh, perhaps you can tell us just a slight bit about yourself and how you have decided to be a part of this organization. Well, that's a great question. So um, I'm on, I believe, year two with uh, the service district and um, you know, I've worked in local government for over 25 years, uh, working uh, at the county level in environmental health. So um, I've had the opportunity to be a regulator and um, regulated a variety of different programs uh, with the county, um, including uh, you know, drinking water supplies and domestic drinking water for individual uh, use, as well as state small water systems. So um, kind of have a little bit of a uh, you know background in that. And, uh, I thought it was a great opportunity, you know, two years ago to put my hat in the ring for the service district and, uh, you know, use the skills that I've developed over the last 25 years and put them to use, uh, you know, in, in our local community. So um, I, I've been down in the district as long going as far back as when um, the PHWA was formed and, um, you know, was involved in that process way back then in the early 90s. So, um, so just kind of going full circle and, you know, look forward to just greater opportunity and uh, influence and, in, you know, keeping this, um, you know, unique situation alive and um, successful. Well, we look forward to your professional um, insight and also it appears your historical background on the organization. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, so at this point in time, um, we, uh, number three, we have the uh, consent agenda, the minutes of the Water Agency regular meeting, January 19th, 2021. Uh, the recommendation is to approve the Water Agency regular meeting minutes of January 19th, 21. Uh, do I have a motion? I'd move to approve uh, the, the minutes. A second. Okay. So we have a, a motion and a second to uh, approve the minutes. Uh, do we need a roll call for this also? Yes, sir. Okay. Member Bouchard? Yes. Member Hernandez? Yes. Member Dudley? 
I'm yes. sorry, Vice Chair Dudley. Sorry, sir. Member Perez? I will abstain. I wasn't present for that. Thank you. And Chair Wellman? Yes. Okay, motion passes uh, unanimously with Member Perez abstaining. Okay, so number four on the agenda is a receive and file the cash disbursement report for January 12th, 2021 through February 8th, 2021. Uh, this was prepared by the finance manager, Mr. McDonald. Uh, the recommendation is to receive and file the cash disbursement report. So do we have a motion to do that? Move to approve staff's recommendation. I'll second. Okay, so we, we have a motion and a second. Um, can we have a vote? Uh, do we need a vote on that or no? Um, sir, in the future, we can do the consent agenda just as one motion, but um, it's it's no problem for tonight. We'll just abide and do three and four, which actually um, helps with member Perez not being present for the last meeting for the minutes. So okay. we will go ahead and do a roll call vote for number four. Member Bouchard? Yes. Vice Chair Dudley? Yes. Member Hernandez? Member Perez? Abstain. And Chair Rollins? Yes. Motion passes. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the business items. And we have a report by um, Mr. Villafano on the Brackish Water Reclamation Demonstration Facility Operational Report. Uh, at this time, uh, you have the floor, Mr. Villafano. Uh, good afternoon, board. Uh, uh, this is the uh, operational report for the month of January. During the month of January, the plant was in operation the entire month, which means that our silt density index uh, was below the threshold of three. Our silt density index uh, during this month was between uh, 0.3 and 1.0. Uh, our water demand for the month of January was 3.4 million gallons per day, which is less than what the demand uh, in December 2020 was. Uh, in December, the demand was 3.65 million gallons per day. And then uh, for reference, last January, January 2020, our water demand was only 2.56 million gallons per day. And this, this month, United Water supplied approximately 93% of our water, and Cayegas uh, supplied approximately 7% of our water. And our water system uh, continues to meet all state and water, state and federal water standards. Um, are there any questions? Do we have any questions from the board? I, I just had one, so that's quite a bit um, less from last year, uh, from 3.4 to 2.5. Um, do you um, do you give the reason for this, perhaps because of the pandemic and everybody's at home more using water? Well, um, I know that this past January was a very dry January, the one we just completed, so uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what the rainfall data was for last January, but I suspect that we had more rain last January than we did this year. So I would think that's probably um, at first look uh, a good reason why we had a higher usage this January than last year. So less want, less landscape water use then, right? Yeah, more this year than last year because January was very dry. Okay. So do we have any other questions about the report? So there's a recommendation to receive and file this report. Um, do we have a motion? Um, do, can we have a vote on this? Yes, sir. Should, uh, when, when it's a, uh, help me out, when it's a receive and file report, uh, do we have to motion 
or can we directly go to a vote? Due to the COVID guidelines and doing a electronic format meeting, most of the time, if we were in person, we could kind of do a, everybody say I and receive and file, but um, just for protocol during this time, we're going to go ahead and do roll call votes for most all items. Okay. I'll move to receive and file. Do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second to receive and file. Uh, can we have a roll call vote? Member Bouchard? Yes. Member Hernandez? Yes. Member Perez? Yes. Vice Chair Dudley? Yes. And Chair Rollins? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Okay, so at this time we have board member uh, reports, comments, and requests for future agenda items. Um, would, would any would anyone like to make a report at this time? Chair sure, Rollins, yeah. I would like to. Okay, yes, um, um, Member Hernandez. Okay, I just something really quick that I wanted to share uh, with the board and. Um, and I hope uh, Mr. Villafana is still on listening to this, but I read something in, um, I think it was a military um, publication about the um, water line being moved or modified uh, to extend onto the base. It's the project that's gonna take place on along Victoria Avenue. Um, would you say that uh, public, Port Wainimi Water Agency is a key player in that project, Mr. Um, Villafana? What that is, is um, our water master plan, our city water master plan um, called for the replacement of several um, water lines that are 70 years old. Mm -hmm. We have a um, fire flow issue on the north end of town, which would be Victoria and Channel Islands, that area. We have a 70 year old ductile iron line in Ventura Road. When I looked at the water master plan and it was prepared many years ago, they had recommended replacing that line. Uh, logistically, that would be a nightmare. Construction wise, it would be a nightmare. I looked at the plan. I looked at our overall facilities. And if you will, I did some value engineering and thought it would be much easier and cost more cost effective if we ran a line up north on Victoria parallel along the base or even in the base because construction wise, we wouldn't be affecting Ventura Road uh, and the cost to do it would be much less. And I'm uh, working with our partners at the Channel Lines Beach District. The Beach District, we have a channel, we have a Port Wainimi asset that goes up to the Navy base, which is a 24 inch line, which was put in, in 19, approximately 1996. The Channel Islands Beach District extended that line with an 18 inch line across the Navy base to where Panama Street is. From there, there's a re, uh, they tapped into that line and reduced it to a 12 inch line that services the Channel Islands Beach District. My thoughts were at, at where that 18 inch line ends at the Panama, at the Panama Street to uh, connect to it and run parallel with Victoria North to provide a loop system for the city water system and bring uh, much needed water and increase our fire flow to the north end. And this would reduce, this would uh, eliminate the need for putting in a new water line in Ventura Road, which would be from a construction standpoint, a real nightmare because we could have limited hours and we impact the base and many, many other things. So the cost would be uh, substantial. This way, uh, we could build a parallel line there and then connect up. And I'm working with our partners at the Beach District to come up with uh, an equitable uh, fee for, for use of their part of their asset. Uh, Mr. Martinez and I are working on that. So uh, that's a little history of that. And I've met with um, Ventura County Public Works and talked to them about the possibility of going in Victoria, the east side of Victoria, 
which there's um, there's an unimproved shoulder part of the way. So logistically, it would be much easier there on traffic. So there, we're looking at options and I'm working with Mr. Jacobson also to look at the possibility of putting it in on the base side. And it's a win-win for the Navy also. The Navy has uh, pressure issues also at the north end of the base. And it would be a win-win for obviously the city, the Navy, <clears throat> also the beach district would have an, another asset they could tap into at uh, Channel Islands in Victoria. So, and then I'm also working with our, our partners on the Navy base, Commander Olson. Previous to that, that was Commander Joe Pope that I had talked to. And uh, I've been working, I've, I've got conceptual buy-in from all the parties. And now we also contracted with REA Engineering, Lou Nagy, Water Re WREA, Water Resources Engineering. They're a firm that have been around for many, many years. I came to the board and uh, I went to the city council and got authorization. It, excuse me, Don, this is Kevin. This is Kevin Spalding. This item is not agendized and a full okay. discussion would be inappropriate under the Brown Act. The portion of this meeting is for members to comment on, right. on things, not devolve into a discussion. All right, I apologize, but that give you a, a brief history. So. so yeah, well, the brief history actually helps. So thank you, uh, Mr. Spalding for letting us go that long. Um, but the real intent of me asking that question because I'm aware of the project, and I thank you, uh, Mr. Villafana, for refreshing my memory on on some of the um, the logistics and the uh, coordination that you've had with the other agencies. And I just want to say thank you for your smart thinking, um, saving us money and saving um, uh, uh, traffic problems from occurring on Ventura Road. Um, and it's. I just want to make sure that when we have a, a public release of any uh, kind of press release is what I'm talking about is that we make sure that our agency gets mentioned and that the, the partners get mentioned um, because it sounded like the military was taking ownership of this whole project. So I just want to make sure that that uh, we we wave our flag a little bit um, with regards to this project, considering um, your your smart thinking um, and your contributions, Mr. Villafana. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Do we have any other comments from any other board members at this time? Yeah, D Director Rollins, uh, I'd like to comment yes, on yes, that. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Jacobson. Thank you. Um, so two things. Uh, first is, um, yeah, I'm not sure, uh, Member Hernandez, where, where that information came from, but we have been working with um, uh, the city uh, mm -hmm. quite a quite a bit on, yes. on this, so um, yes, uh, I, I look forward to working with them more in the future on that. Um, a second item is um, United Water has asked um, the Navy uh, to participate in the coastal uh, brackish groundwater extraction project, um, and it's going to be um, presented as an update at the Association of Water Agencies on Friday or on Thursday, Thursday morning. Their their uh, breakfast series. Um, and I will be presenting on behalf of the Navy um, uh, for that presentation. So I just wanted to let the board know of, of that uh, meeting. And that's all I have, over. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jacobson. Any other um, comments from the board? Yes, Mr. Burchard. Um, not necessarily a comment, it's a request for future agenda items um, to the staff at which time you feel it's appropriate. It's been quite a while since we've had an opportunity to address uh, some long-term issues uh, regarding uh, lease agreements and other things that were kind of hot and heavy issues for us about two years ago. Not sure where we're at with those. Um, and I uh, think it would be important that at least maybe an update comes back to the board, whether you feel it's, I'll leave it up to uh, council and uh, the staff, whether that's closed session or uh, how we address that. But um, that issue has, see, seems to have gone, gone by the wayside and would, would appreciate an update. Yes, that's an important item. Yes, any other comments at this time? Well, then at this time, I would uh, move to adjourn. Uh, the time is 4.29. Um, so move to adjourn. Good job there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you, yeah. everybody.
you all next month. <laughs> See you then. Good night, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye.